Hey everyone, in this lecture we will solve another numerical which will come like check whether the following systems are static or dynamic, linear or non-linear, causal or non-causal, time variant or time invariant. Fine. So the system equation will be given to you like y of n is equal to x of n into x of n minus 2 right now the first you have to find out whether this is static system or dynamic system if you see the output and the input so in input x of n minus 2 term is there right and x of n is there i already told you like x of n is what present input correct and if you see anywhere the term like x of n minus 2 this is called as what past past input past input so from here we can say that our output output depends on what output depends on past values right past values of input so if it depends on past values of input so it requires what it requires a memory right memory is required in this case so if there is a need of memory if memory is required so we can say like a system is what dynamic system okay hope this is clear to you fine okay let's move further to the next check so now we have to find out whether the system is linear or non-linear fine so if you see what is the general expression of y of n it is basically transform of x of n right it is basically what transform of x of n if you see y of n is equal to this so here this transform of x of n you can say like it is equal to what x of n into x of n minus 2 fine now for inputs x1 of n and x2 of n what will be the output so you have to calculate y of y1 of n and y2 of n fine now y1 of n is basically what transform of x1 of n right and y2 of n is basically what transform of x2 of n so basically this is equal to what this is equal to so transform of x1 of n so this will become what x1 of n into x1 of n minus 2 and here it will become what x2 of n into x2 of n minus 2 so you have calculated y1 of n and y2 of n now you have to calculate what you have to calculate the weighted sum of outputs it means you have to calculate a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so y1 and y2 of n is already calculated here just place the value here so a1 into x1 of n into x1 of n minus 2 fine plus a2 into y2 of n so y2 of n is what x2 of n into x2 of n minus 2 so this is what basically the weighted sum of outputs clear now what you have to calculate next the output due to weighted sum of inputs let's say that output is represented by y3 of n which is basically what nothing but output due to weighted sum of inputs so it is what transform of 
a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n am i right fine so this will become what basically this is our general expression right so this will become a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n into let's go for second term now into a1 x1 of n minus 2 plus a2 x2 of n minus 2 fine so this is what the output due to weighted sum of inputs hope this much is clear to you now from here if y3 of n is equal to a1 into y1 of n okay plus a2 into y2 of n then we can say that the system is linear system but is it true here if you see this and this is it equal no these two are not equal fine so if these two are not equal it means the system is what non-linear system is what non-linear system hope it is clear to you now fine let's go for next check which is what causal or non-causal fine so we have to check the causality so what is the expression y of n is equal to x of n into x of n minus 2 right so if you see here this is what and this is what this is what present value present input value right and this is what past input value so if you see here your system output output depends only on the present and past values of input it does not depend upon the future values of input so you can say that the system is what it's a causal system simple right so you can say like this system is what a causal system because it only depends upon the present and past values of input not on future values of input so the system is causal system now we have the last check pending which is what time invariant or time variant so let's see this okay so y of n is equal to what given as this and we know that y of n is what basically transform of x of n general expression fine now you have to calculate two things first the output due to input delayed by m units and the second thing is the output delayed by m units and you have to compare both if they are equal then you can say this system is what time invariant and if it is not equal then it is a time variant system fine so let's calculate the output due to input delayed by m units what does it means basically you have to calculate y of n comma m which is nothing but transform of x of n minus m right because it is what input delayed by m units which is nothing but y of n when x of n is equal to x of n minus m clear so this will be equal to what now this will become x of n minus m and here x of n minus 2 minus m hope it is clear to you now right so you have already calculated the output due to input delayed by m units fine let's go for the next case and let's calculate the output delayed by m units which is basically y of n minus m which is nothing but y of n when when n is equal to n minus m so wherever n is present just replace with n minus m so it will become what 
x of n means x of n minus m okay into x of n minus m minus 2 so if you compare this two these two are what equal so from here what is the conclusion y of n n comma m is equal to y of n minus m so if this is equal it means our system is what our system is time invariant time invariant or you can say shift invariant both things are fine right so this also we have calculated so finally the system is what dynamic we got to know like it is dynamic it is non-linear it is causal and it is time invariant so at last you have to simply write like you know an exam like system is what dynamic comma non-linear causal and time invariant that's all that is what you have to do exactly if this type of question comes in the exam so hope this clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching